Hey guys, Ryu here with another bit for Blender. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create a really cool sci fi cable with literally few clicks. So let's go to Screencast Keys and enable this thing. There we go. Uh, let's grab these two and Shift D them here. These are just cubes. And Shift Alt C with Cable Rater and create cable. Now I'm going to select, you know, be, uh, two objects between which I want the cable to be drawn. So I'm going to click here and click here. Boom, cable happens. Press S to make it a bit thicker. Click D to make it a bit droopier. And click. And we're done. Now we're going to add something, um, you know, uh, like a cap. Uh, so mesh cylinder and bring it in here. Make it a bit smaller. And let's apply scale. Go to face mode. Select this one. Control B and go to edge mode control r drop it in here control b to scale it i mean to bevel it sorry and then q and alt click on macro okay if you don't have this function you can simply press um here i'll show you control b okay you can press e to extrude right mouse button to cancel alt s and move your mouse down same thing okay so I'm going to bevel this, right? And we're going to uh, insert this thing in the middle here and extrude it and we're done. Select this, you know, this thing and a cable with shift, then go to Alt Shift C and add or edit segments. And then you can see that uh, we can create an array. So press A for array, then C for uh, iterations and just move your mouse to the right or left, depending how many you want and click. Now we're done. So click on this bugger, go to edit mode. Since this is an array, we just have to edit on the one of them. Go to face mode, alt click this, shift alt click this one, and we're gonna go to D and use one of our new trim sheets from the trim sheet uh, pack that we released recently. The paneling trim sheets, awesome stuff. You should guys check it out. Uh, so we're gonna just click on this one and it will add trim sheets to everything okay so regardless of you know uh, what we're looking at we uh, don't have to do it this way what we could do is uh, hold alt when clicking it and that will add a trim sheet only to areas we specified so we can for example add something different here uh, you know like this we can add something different here let's send from trim sheet 9 uh, we could add, I don't know this one okay and uh, you know and you got yourself a sci-fi cable uh, really easy uh, and great. Now I'm going to give you another tip, which is awesome. Uh, I'm going to grab this cable from the middle, move it in here. So I'll show you how to um, add, you know, trim sheet to this one, right? So let's go to edit mode, select everything, press D. And we're going to click on trim sheet 9 textured. And I'm just going to click on it and let, you know, Blender do its thing. Now you can see that um, it's a little bit twisted, uh, right? But the reason for it is that because the cable rater I twisted the cable when he was creating it, but you can straighten it up. So what you can do is uh, go to um, Shift Alt C and create a cable and, you know, do the same thing and then press S. Okay. And D. And then you can here, you can see that uh, you can look up the um, wireframe. And if you look at the wireframe, it's actually crooked. It's kind of like, you know, twisted, right? So what you can do is press H to fix this. Boom. And now you're going to, you know, straight wireframe. So now when you you know, go here and um, convert it to mesh and select everything and go to your uh, trim sheets. And let's just add something smaller, okay? So I'm gonna alt click on this one, let's say boom, and you got yourself, you know, awesome sci fi cable, right? With one click. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a power of trim sheets and cable writer and hard ops, which I think is bloody amazing. Well, anyway, a links to Kiblerator in a video description. In addition, I have a special video on Kiblerator, so if you want to learn how to use it um, to its full potential, um, you know, I'll drop a link in the video description. And, of course, links to Hardops and Box Cutter, my favorite add-ons for hard surface modeling. And grab a bundle if you don't have them, because they're bloody amazing. And also our courses. So, there's a course on trim sheets, which teaches you how to create, you know, trim sheets, and uh, how to texture them, you know, literally from A to Z. That's how it's called, A to Z. Environment design with trim sheets. We teach you also how to create environments with it. And yesterday we released a new pack with trim sheet, um, trim sheet eight and trim sheet nine. So there are two separate trim sheets. I can show you them here. 
So let me just grab a plane very quickly and move it here, make it bigger. And I'm going to subdivide it, okay, a um, million times. And I'm going to actually copy this here. And so then I'm going to drop here trim sheet 9, right? So D. And I'm going to drop the uh, untextured one, okay? And here I'm going to drop you the textured trim sheet 8, just, for, you know, for the variety. Uh, so you get two versions, textured and non-textured. You get also all the maps required to bake them. They were specifically made for uh, paneling, so you can panel the hell out of your models and uh, you know create literal infinite floors and ceilings and whatnot. And kind of like seamless transition. The, the detail here, the, the whole point behind this trim sheet was to create a detail that doesn't really, you know, poke the eyes. It's it's just detailed but not too much. So it's kind of like a faint faint detail somewhere in the background you know uh, without much noise uh, to simply cover a large area and uh, like here you know just a hull of a station or a ship or something anyway um you know have a look awesome stuff thanks for watching catch your next video